what's up everybody welcome back to our channel hey if you're new here please click that like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification this way you get notified every time i upload a video well today we're working on the final 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 part we're adding to project spaceball this is it this is the done, the done deal it's finale it's finit the bike's good i did change out this hpi came out with a carbon fiber cover that replaced where is it if you remember had this ugly thing right here that replaced that with this which i think looks better what do you guys think thank you hpi no they didn't give it to me i wish they did i paid for it but you know what for 50 bucks it added so much more and took away so much by getting rid of that one piece of a shiny aluminum on the side of the bike all right what's today about well after much anticipation and very much weight uh, i ordered this part back in march 7th from uh, a vendor down in uh whatchamacallit at daytona beach during bike week that vendor is sbc this is their uh engine guard for project spaceball so what we're going to do is actually what i'm doing right now is i am actually opening the box and we're going to do an unboxing together sorry guys one-handed camera girl's busy making dinner she wants to feed the fat happy guy so i'm gonna let her <laughs> all right let me get this box open and let's do it all right guys i was gonna do the whole boom here it is so boom here it is i just want to show you the packing how well it's zip tied down um how well it's protected from shipping they did a great job but while i'm taking this all apart and wrapping everything and if you could see it is very well protected from uh shipping and bouncing around they give you it looks like instructions some screws um everything is very well protected so i'm very happy with that and happy to see that yeah i just added a lot of weight to the bike but you know it will protect the bike in the event of something uh going wrong all right let me get this all unwrapped and we'll take a look at it and go over it and install it all right guys i got it unwrapped and here it is yep i got the gold tips i'll probably take those off over the winter and get them matched uh powder coated but here it is and from preliminary look at i'm gonna have to remove these bolts move this whole uh foot mount away i gotta take out one here and then one on the other side and that will mount everything up this part here mounts here so i'm gonna work on that and we're gonna get that together if you're curious i believe those are a t45 um bolts right here right down in here t45 one t45 two unbolt that move it out of the way remove those two plugs and start bolting this thing up and we'll take a look see how it's and see how it looks when i'm done so hang out let's take a look all right guys i struggled all right what we had to do is you get this one in for first right after you get your two brackets on both sides of your frame in place on the right side you do not have to remove the uh peg mount uh, if you have mid controls, you don't have to worry about any of that. I had the forward control, so on the left side, I had to remove it because it goes behind it. Now, you have to take out these Christmas tree plugs. And the best way I can tell you to get these out is you get a set of needle nose, you bend up the tab, and you just unthread them out. That's always the best way I found it. All right, now we have to install it. And to install it, it's a 730 seconds Allen here. That's a 316 Allen right here and a half inch nut on the other side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our gun just to make our life a little bit easier. Always put 
thread locker on because you don't want these falling off. So that's one side. The other side is a T47. I know I said it was a T45, but I was close. But the side that you need is a T47. All right, so we'll tighten up this one. I hope you guys can see that. Let's see, get you a good angle down here. There you go. And this is not seated. All right, so we got to get this one seated and installed. Sorry about that, guys. So let me get that one started. I thought I did, I guess not. There you go. That one and this one. Now, this reminds me of something I gotta tell you guys. If you have the forward controls like I do, this comes out a little thicker so you have to space out down here for your for your bolt or this is going to be sitting crooked and you won't get it correctly tightened up all right let me get this tightened up and then we'll go over it all right it's all done so down here right there where this my finger is it's one screw on this side and that is a uh 732nd allen they give you an extra one for the other side. All right, this is a 3 16 Allen, and you're gonna need a half inch wrench to get back here for the nut. Now over here, you need the uh, that Allen for the other side, and a T47 for here. But again, if you don't have forward controls, you don't have to worry about it. And that's what this second spare screw is for. All right, guys. And that's it. That's a pretty easy install uh, for my engine guard. Pretty simple. A uh, little bit of a pain getting that top screw done. But as far as the everything else goes, it's done. Now, this is an SBC product um, that I ordered in Daytona. Uh, I wish I could give this company glowing reviews. Uh, the product is great. I'll, I'll say that. The product is good. The welds look good. Uh, everything fit without a uh, struggle or a hassle. It fit in the frame like it's supposed to without you know, saying, you know, oh, I got to muscle this around here or there. No, it just went right in place like it's supposed to. Uh, you know, construction's good. Finish is good. Price is about average. And I could tell you, that uh, if you email them, they don't respond to emails. Uh, they do respond to phone calls. You call them, you get a voicemail, you leave them a voicemail, they'll call you back that day, if not the next day. But as far as you know, emailing, saying, hey, what's the update on this order? What's the update on this order? What's the update? They don't respond to that at all. I had to call them. Uh, so that's my only complaint with this company is they don't respond to emails, but they re do respond to phone calls and voice messages. So that's a plus. Uh, the construction is a plus. I just think 17 weeks was a long time to wait for this, um, That I, because I bought and paid for it back then. All right, everybody. And that's all I gotta say about, I've been pretty negative about some of these products or their manufacturers lately, and I just call it as I see it. I give my honest opinion on it, uh, like that throttle tuner, that man, that's everything it says it is, and they ship quickly, the guy's easy to deal with and talk to, uh, so yeah, I still have my promo code available for DR Harley for the throttle tuner uh, from Turi Fast, definitely get into that guys, if you... Uh, don't have an actual tuner to adjust your sensitivity on your throttle. All right, everybody, until the next one, live the best life you can. Ride often and ride hard.
Like and subscribe.